This is Spud here from Hits.net.com, coming at you with another quick hit. Over the last week or so, the world has gone floppy board mental. Yes, I can remember when Jurassic Park was made back in the 90s, and all of a sudden everybody in the world was a dinosaur fan. It's kind of like that, except flappier and boardier. It's a bizarre little experience, but uh, I, I thought it was I thought it was worth talking about because uh, well, shit hit the fan with Flappy Boy. It blew up, absolutely blew up. It's been trending on Twitter. Everybody I can think of is playing it at the moment. It's a simplistic little game on uh, on Android, on your phones, on your tablets. You know, where basically you play as this wee little board where you touch the screen. He'll gain a little altitude and then fall back down. You have to steer him through gaps between pipes. Very simplistic shit. Hard as fucking nails. But very simplistic idea. You know. Uh, and to be honest, a lot of fun. It's brain dead fun, but it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it's a complete rip-off of many spectacles seen in Super Mario series. Especially, I'd say, if I had to wager, I guess a lot of things are taken from Super Mario Bros. 3. Uh, the pipes are very Mario-esque. The little board looks like those wee fish from Mario. Um, even the background is very, very Mario-esque. So, it looks like Nintendo will come down like a ton of bricks upon the developer who apparently made this in two days for a bit of crack. And was making a lot of money. Well, rumour has that anyway, was like making a lot of money through re revenue. Uh, but it has got me thinking. It's got me thinking about Android games and how, you know, they're not talked about a whole lot within the gaming community. But geez, they're a lot of fun, man. You know what I mean? Floppy board is simply one instance of it. Uh, like I said, stupid game, but you'd waste hours on it. Not to mention your fucking phone battery. You know, I've recently played a little bit of uh, Cut the Rope as well, which is a simplistic little puzzle game where basically you've got a candy on the end of a, end of a string, you've got to feed it to this little monster called Om Nom, who's the cutest motherfucker this side of Pokemon. You know, uh, in order to do that, you have to make, get the candy from point A to point B, maybe around some spikes, maybe trapping in a little bubble to make it gain altitude. You know, a little puzzle game. It's very, very simplistic, but it's fucking fantastic. You know, it's really, it's really cute. The colours jump off the screen. It's a great little game. Uh, and uh, again, it doesn't get talked about, but it's a great little game. Doodle Jump is another one where we we're talking about. Doodle Jump is fantastic. Actually, uh, here in one of the quote unquote arcades, what are these? These are bunnies. Bunny arcades here in uh, Galway City, they actually have a Doodle Jump arcade machine, which is fantastic fun. But uh, Doodle Jump, you play as a badly drawn Martian by the looks of it. And you simply go continue going up and up the screen without stopping. He continuously jumps and you go tilt your phone or your tablet or whatever the case may be, left and right to steer him. There's a couple of monsters to avoid, there's a couple of traps, black holes, bullshit like that, crumbling platforms. And just make a run for the highest score. It's a great little game though. Again, you'd waste hours on. It's cute as hell, it's a lot of fun. It's so simplistic. All these games are so simplistic. Better still, they're all fucking free. You know, uh, like I said, they don't seem to get talked about within the game community. We seem to kind of brush it off to the side and pretend it has nothing to do with us. That's all nice. These are great little games. They're well worth playing. I, but if I could get a disc where you say, Doodle Jump, fucking... Ah, throw, throw Flappy Board on there too for the flappy crack of it. You know, throw on there, uh, cut the rope, throw on there, uh, what's that one that's not Bejeweled? <laughs> Candy Crush. Throw all them onto a disc on the 360, I'd play the balls off that. Fucking Angry Board the another one, well worth talking about, well worth mentioning. Pretty much kick-started Android gaming in general, if you ask me. Catapult tiny little Bordos over into houses made of pigs. Sorted. You know, it's simplistic. It plays a little bit on physics. You know, it, it, 
you got a couple of little different boards for a couple of different scenarios. Some of them explode, some of them implode. I don't know, they fuck they fuck things up in different ways, different directions. Some of them lay eggs, the eggs explode, the little blue guys turned into three little missiles. All the rain there and hell on all these little pigs. It's great crack. And once again, all these games are free. And I just think that's mental. That you can have all these great free games, yet people don't talk about them. They're there, and they're worth playing. They're easily accessible. They're in your hand while you're sitting on the jacks. What more do you want? They, what more do you want? Seriously. You know? So, I don't know about you, but I'm downloading it. Fucking raking them. Anything I can get my hand on at this stage. Even if it's that real one with a llama where he's mutating, eating all the other llamas and turning into this grotesque llama monster thing. Yeah, I'm even playing that one. Why the hell not? Wait your battery. Have a little fun. They're all free. Take advantage of it. This is Spud from HitsDanNay.com, signing off. Good luck. Thanks for watching one of our HSN Quick Hits. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. We've also got a lot more gaming videos here on the HitsDanNay YouTube channel. These include Insert Coin, where we play through old school arcade classics, uh, Pixel Pictures, where we review video game related movies, Quick Plays, where we play through anything we can get our hands on, and a whole lot more. Check it out. You can also hit us up at HitsDanNow on Twitter or Facebook forward slash HitsDanNow. Of course, we've also got HitsDanNow.com for reviews, previews, blogs, videos, and of course, our new infamous monthly podcast. So uh, get on over and check all that out. Thank you very much. Good luck.